Okay, so what's up guys? Today I am back with another video and um sitting here trying to figure out what in the world is going on. My last short, I guess. It's a video, but it's like 15 minutes long. I mean 50 seconds long. It's like 15 seconds long. I'm trying to figure out what happened. Because I've got like 3,000 and some. I've got like 3,000 and a half. Almost 4,000 views on that. And it's got almost two, 200 um, likes. Um, you know, that's not normal for me. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out what's going on. But I'm out here today. And um, I said in that video that uh, part two or footage of it. Well, I kind of lied. I don't have footage of it. I didn't lie, but... I just didn't think about it. I don't have footage of it. I have footage of it, but I can't post it because now it sounds it sounds kind of like a like a like a scam or something. But no, I really do have footage of it. And I actually did catch it. It's just I can't post the footage because it's not like on the camera. I didn't film it like on the camera, and so I can't can't post it. So yeah. Sounds like a scam, but I promise I do have the footage of it, and y'all saw the fox, so I really did catch it, and we did let it go. Um, I wasn't going to let it go because, you know, turkeys, he'll eat the turkeys, the turkey eggs, he'll eat rabbit, squirrel, the uh, quail, quail eggs and stuff like that, quail, and the quail theirself, and, um, you know, even if my chickens... One day, if he got a hold of my chickens, he will, but I doubt he would. But, you know, that's just another possibility. But I did end up, I was going to take him out. At first, I was going to get my 22 and take him out, but I got thinking about it. I mean, I'm not going to use him. I'm not going to eat the fox. I'm not going to do anything with his fur. I've already got a fox in the freezer that I'm going to mount. So I'm not going to do anything with that fox if I were to kill him. So I didn't kill him. Um, I just let him go, got my mom to help me, and... I had my catch pole. I think y'all have seen that. I'm not going to get into that in this video, but today I'm just going to be practicing with my coyote traps because here in coming up on Christmas break, I have school, so can't do much, you know, during Christmas. So coming up on Christmas break, I'm going to be a lot. I'm going to film a lot more. Hang out with Bella and film a lot more. And uh, just a bunch of more videos. And most importantly, which I think a lot of y'all like most, is the trapping videos. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to start practicing setting them. Because the coyote trapping, you have to get the trap real, like, steady to the ground. So where if the coyote steps on, like, the edge of the trap, it won't, like, shake or whatever. Because then... The coyote, he'll know something's up if the co if the trap, like, moves a little bit when he steps on it. If it moves, he'll probably run. So, I'm just going to practice setting it. And it's always a good time just to get out here. Outside, in the woods, close to the woods. Hang out with the dog. And film a good video. So, uh, yeah. So, right here is what you're going to need. You're not going to need a knife. Unless a coyote attacks you. You're not going to need that, unless that is a coyote, but it's not. It's my dog, so we don't have to worry about that. Starting off with the trap, which is probably the main thing that you need. And uh, she probably smells that fox on it that I caught, that gray fox. But um, basically, this is a Bridger's 2.5, I think, or 1.5. It's not a very big trap. I like the, I like the Bridger's, though. I have a duke trap, and for my coon traps, for my raccoon traps, I do like to use the duke traps for, like, my raccoon traps, the dog for coon traps. I do like to use the dukes with those. I've had really good luck with those, but for their coyote traps, the duke coyote traps, I don't like them. I use bridgers, uh, so yeah, or the MBs. I hadn't had a chance to mess with those yet hopefully soon i'll be able to get some mb like 450s or 350s something like that it's a really good trap supposedly i've heard so um 
They're a little bit more expensive, but I've heard they're really good traps. So, yeah. But basically, this is the trap I use. I've got another one. But, yeah. That's just the one I use most of the time. We'll get into that here in a little bit, how you set it and everything else. And then, of course, you have your steak. I use two of them. And that's not what this video is about, but, you know, you just need a couple steaks. There's plenty of videos on it. It's just a rebar with, like, a washer or, like, a nut on the bottom of it, or on top of it, welded. Some gloves, because you don't want to touch your trap or set your trap without gloves, because, well, your scent on your hands, it'll get on the trap. And, um, this way, if you have gloves, if you catch yourself, which I have done multiple times, it won't hurt as bad. Um, and with this little trap like this, it ain't gonna hurt at all. Uh, I don't know if you heard that, but I think that was a gunshot. I don't know. Maybe somebody just killed a deer. I don't know. Uh, I was supposed to go deer hunting today, but I didn't. Um, I was tired, so I didn't. <laughs> 5.30. I went back to sleep. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna get into setting this. And the next thing is, you know, of course, the gloves, the trap, the stake, the rebar. Um, something to dig the hole with. And we'll get into that here in a little bit. But what I have here is just a little garden tool, which seems to work pretty good. Just comes out of there, and just like this. See, I've been using it, got some dirt on it. But um, it's got a point on the bottom, or it's got a point right there. This is a little sharp right here, and then it's got like a little saw, and then a measure, a measure right there. And then just your little old handle. You can hang it up somewhere if you want, right there. But uh, yeah, from... Walmart, Amazon, somewhere like that, it's perfect. Get the roots out of the way, anything. Yeah, it works pretty good. Next thing, you're going to need a mallet or some sort of hammer to put your stake in the ground, your rebar in the ground to hold your trap down. And then lastly, but not least, you're going to need a sifter. This is honestly just like a little frying skillet it's not skillet just like a little frying basket i kind of stole it from my mom but she said it's fine so that's what i use now it had handles but then i broke it because of the dirt you're just going to want to use this to sift all the dirt over your trap when you get it bedded down so the coyotes cannot see your trap so um yeah we'll get to setting it now what are you doing you're crazy Sorry if this video is going to be kind of long, you know, I'm just out here filming. And if that chicken does not be quiet. Uh, I'm just going to set it, you know, practice with it a little bit. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so I'm over here where I'm going to set it. Just find you a nice flat spot. Try to get dirt. Grass is fine, but it's going to be a little harder to set in my opinion. I'm just right here beh beh behind my chicken coop. This is the flattest point I could find. So you need flat ground and you need dirt. And sorry for them. They may, they like to make a lot of noise. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get started. Okay, so right here. To start off, you're going to want to make a dirt hole. And um, you're probably going to want it as long as that blade right there. Which is, I think, 15 centimeters. You know. That's why this thing is good. Because if you stick that down there, it's not 16, or it's not 15 centimeters. It is. It's actually a lot. Because what you can do is you can take your stake, and you can take your mallet, or your hammer, and uh, put it right there, and drive it down in there. And then uh, you can just move it around, wiggle it around, and it will open up that hole to where you can get your bait down in there. Which is what's going to keep the coyote there. So, uh, yeah. That's what you're going to do so far. Then, you're going to actually set your trap. This is the fun part. Man, I'm going to have to take off a glove. I got my gloves on, but I can't do anything with the camera with my gloves on. So, hang on. There we go. I'll have to keep my glove off. So, if you're pretty new to trapping, 
just like me, what you can do is um, you can just get the trap where you want it. Normally, you want it about six inches back. So, normally about from your pinky, if you go like that. Normally about from your thumb, which is on the left. And my pinky, which is on the right. From there, from my pinky, I mean from my thumb to my pinky. That is normally about six inches. Six or seven inches. And um, so, that is what you want from the center of your dirt hole which is where your bait's gonna go all the way from about your trap pan which is right here where the coyote one where you want the coyote to step on that's normally about six or seven inches which is what you want and um you just want to think just like a coyote if he wants to come in there and look in that hole to see what's in there where is he gonna put his foot i'll let you figure that out on your own when you get out there trap so um yeah that's what you want and if you do like this to me, like me, if you're new to trapping coyotes like me, um, I've only been trapping them for like a year. This is my second year trapping them, and I've caught two foxes. I'd say I'm doing pretty good. So, yeah. What you can do is you can trace your trap, get your trap where you want it, and then take your knife or whatever and trace it exactly where your trap is. Just trace it. And so, that will help your trap being sturdy. So, just take your knife or whatever, like I said, and trace it. And then dig that little area out. You don't want to go in there just with a shovel and start digging dirt up. Because then you'll have a lot of loose dirt. And right here, this is pretty firm dirt. So, you want to keep that firm dirt around your trap. Because then, the trap won't move as much and scare the coyote off when, you step, when he steps over here. Okay, so now that you have your hole, just like you need it, the trap bed, what are you doing? She don't know. So what you're going to do is you're just going to, once you get it just how you need it, make room for the little ears on the side so they can spring up. Make room for the jaws, which is these right here, that actually hold the animal there. What you want to do is, this is kind of the part where you're probably going to get caught a couple times. If you do it enough. But, um, I've actually gotten caught doing this, but it's a smaller size trap. So it doesn't hurt that bad. It's not too bad. So, um, yeah. Once you get it just how you need it, um, you just basically want to make sure it's really sturdy. Maybe pack some dirt in on these loose edges. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna drive the, um, trap into the ground just because. I'm not setting for coyotes, like literally, I'm right here at my chickens, my dog is right there. I'm not even in the woods. I'm literally just in my backyard, just practicing, and showing you how. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to wait till, um, you're gonna have to wait until I get out of school for some trapping videos. And so, yeah. But hopefully we can get some trapping videos soon. Bella. <whistles> you want a treat? Hunt it up, Bella. Hunt it up. Or not. I'm going to go back to set my trap. Okay. Oh, yeah, and one thing about it. Make sure to save your dirt from everything in here. Make sure to save your dirt and just put it in your sifter. I promise you'll need that later. You're going to need all the dirt you can get to cover this up. All right, so uh, this actually just kind of scared me. Like I said, if you do this enough, you're gonna get caught. Well, it didn't catch my hand. It almost did, though. Caught my glove. That'll get you going, though. That gets your adrenaline going. I thought I got got. But it's nothing major. Just take it off and keep on going. Okay, so right here, you have the finished product. I've already took my gloves off. Look at the dust coming off my leg. Some people wear knee pads. I don't. Those are the like the pros. I'm far from a pro, okay? But I got this trap set, and it's you put some bait in it, and if it was like way out somewhere out there, you'd probably end up catching a coyote, something, maybe a fox, something. You wouldn't even know there's a trap there, but you would know something happened. I mean, look at that here. You didn't see me set that trap. You wouldn't know there's a trap there. Look at it. 
it's perfect. You just uh, take your gloves off. So, yeah. You just take your gloves off and um, get you a little stick. Dip you out a little bit of bait on there. Maybe some ground up squirrel or something. Uh, or you can buy it on Amazon. Stick it in there. Put some lure. Maybe even throw a ball of grass down there. Just to strike their curiosity. And um, once they come up here at about 1 o'clock in the night, they'll be uh, trying to get the bait or the squirrel in there. And um, uh, they'll probably step right about there. And so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let my dog step on it just because why not? No, I'm just kidding. That's really, really mean. I wouldn't do that. Although, I mean, it wouldn't hurt her. She'd just probably hate me. I mean, she, she didn't do anything bad. Look at her. Ah, we'll go talk to her. See what she's got to say about this coyote stuff. Hey. Hey. Why are you walking away? Where are you going? I got treats. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, we're not going hunting. Come here. Bella. Bella, come here. You want this? Bella, here. You want a treat? Uh, no. You sit. You lay. Lay. Sit. Good girl. Lay. Uh, excuse me. Lay. There you go. Now you can have it. Now, what do you have to say about the coyotes? They're mean, ain't they? Yeah. That's all I needed to hear. Come on, let's go. Okay, good. You go that way. Not towards the trap. So, I mean, hey. You wouldn't even know there was a trap there. So, I guess this could say it was a how to set a coyote trap video. I mean, that's pretty much what I did. But, uh, what I'm going to do now is... So, let's say the coyote's coming in here. You know, let's say this is the coyote, okay? That's his feet. So, he's coming up. He's coming in from that oak thicket. There's a bunch of oak trees over there. He just come back from hunting. So he's coming back to his den over there. His den better, better not be over here. I'll hurt him if he gets these chickens. I'll trap him. But let's say he's coming this way. Okay, he just killed him a squirrel from over there with all them oak trees. So now he's coming this way on this trail, on this game trail right here. And he sees this over here and he smells it. So... He's going to probably come check it out. He's going to think, oh, one of my, uh, somebody, somebody he hates, basically. A coyote he hates, or maybe a fox, come through, killed him a rabbit, and buried it. Right in there. Or maybe a mouse, or maybe it's a mouse hole. So he's going to come in, try to get, he's going to smell that bait in there. He's going to try to dig it up. And while he's here trying to dig it up, he's going to step about somewhere Let me find it. Hang on. He's going to step somewhere. And right there is going to happen. And there's probably a little bit too much dirt on top of that. I probably made the hole a little too deep and not wide enough. And like I said, I did not stake it down just because I'm just showing you how to do it. Right there. So, uh, yeah, it's basically... All there is to it. In most states, I know where I live, you have to come and check your traps, no matter what kind of trap it is. You have to come and check them every 24 hours. And so here where I live, you have to check them every 24 hours. So, you know, you just, most states, and even if you don't have to come back every 24 hours, you should come back every 24 hours, just, you know, maybe you got something, or maybe it got set off, you know, you gotta fix it, and, um, yeah, it's good to just come back every 24 hours, and where I live, it's illegal if you don't, so, you have to come back every 24 hours, depending on the state, just, uh, go on Google, be like, you know, just look it up, or you can call, like, the game warden, or whatever, and, uh, ask him, and he'll probably tell you, so, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this little video right here. Sorry about 
I don't have any video of that fox. But yeah. Good luck trapping. What y'all gotta say? Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. There you go. Alright. So, uh, yeah. If you like this trapping video, or showing you how to trap, or how to set a coyote trap, you know, I'm not the best at it, but I am learning. So, I mean, hey, why not? If you liked it, you can probably like, subscribe, and what else, Bella? They can comment. What else? One more thing. They can share it with a friend. Alright, see you on the next one. Peace. Sorry about the long video, though. Just a lot going on.